Hi and welcome to my place. I've had lots of requests from all around the world asking what to do with single spring flowers and one in particular was jasmine. I absolutely love it and have a big jar of it here or a vase of it that you could just put into a vase and just leave. But what if you wanted to do something special? Well, I want to show you how to do something really simple and really elegant just to show off the jasmine and I'm going to use this wand. Now I bought this wand from Amazon ages ago and I've had a check and there's still quite a few there. They might not be the same as this but this has been a marvellous investment because as a standalone container it, or vessel it looks just beautiful with all sorts of flowers displayed in it. So today it's going to be the jasmine. Now it's not the very best of jasmine but I had to get the ladder out last night in the dark with the torch and get over the fence to the neighbours to pick this. So please excuse the fact that it's not as very pristine, but it'll be okay for what we want to do today and it will actually give you an idea of what you can do with it. Now I've got all sorts of longish trails here and inside the cavity of the swan, I've used the green oasis which I've soaked. I, didn't ha I found it quite difficult to get a whole block into it and I had a couple of just off cuts so I've just sort of like just jammed those into there and the interesting thing about this or the difficulty is that it's got this little bit that narrows down here and it's not as high here as it is at the back as you can see so I've sort of just cut the, the foam to fit. Now for those who are new to floristry let me just explain to you about the foam. There are two types there's the green here which soaks up about 10 times its own weight in water and to to do that all I do is get a big tub of water and then just put just drop the foam into it and just let it sink don't push it in and force the water into it it's best to just just put it on the top let it float and then it'll just sink down and you'll know that it's ready to go when the bubbles stop rising rising to the surface the other one is this gray one here and that's been formulated for working with dry or artificial materials and the composite of this is much much firmer so that when you put your silk flowers or your dried dried materials into it it actually sticks and is quite a harder much much harder composition than what this is but and in saying that um, I do cheat the system sometimes but um, for most of the work that I do with fresh well when you're using fresh this is the best one to use okay so let's just get started when I look at the swan I just think to myself a design into this should be very loose and flowing and I'm sort of thinking that I'll represent the um, the the jasmine coming out I'm just going to have that as if it was like lovely fluffy wings coming out of the swan so going in here and I've sort of cleaned this up as much as I can and it's quite fiddly stuff to work with because it does get all tangled up but I've had a good go at sort of cleaning up it up as much as I can so for today what I'd like to do is to just and I've slant cut everything and all these little little knobbly bits there just cut those off so that they are out of the way and I'm going to start at the base and just put this in as if it was a graceful tail just sort of falling out you can't play God with this stuff because you'll just drive yourself crazy because it's got a mind of its own so just insert and the bigger the pieces the better it's going to be if you've got bits that are trailing down just leave those to do the bit that they want to do and if you've been lucky like I have I managed to get these great these lovely long tenderly trails and I'm just going to as I'm putting this in I'm just sort of slowly stepping down towards the front or the neck of my swan now with this bit here I'll just put that into there and have that flow over the top of what's existing and then as I go towards the neck of my swan I'm just going to cut these pieces and just press those in to the foam to come down round nicely over that neck and hopefully I've got another piece oh it's messy stuff it's very very messy okay so cutting that slant cutting that and putting another piece into there and if it flows if it's upside down don't worry about it because it will sort of pop itself up in due course and it will go, go towards the light right I've got some little bits in here 
and I'm just going to put that bit back into there so that that gracefully falls over there. If that bit there's a little bit too long, just cut that into there until you have a design. I've still got a wee hole there, so I'll just fill that bit up there. Now, what have I got? Oh my goodness, this is making such a mess, but it's okay because I don't mind picking up the odd little bud that falls down. So there you have a beautiful, graceful, gorgeous design. The swan is your base and it's got all these beautiful garlands or cascades of jasmine coming out over the top. That as a standalone design would look beautiful in any environment. It isn't going to last very long, but hey, that doesn't matter as long as you've got that lovely fragrance inside, who cares? Now just give it a mist with some water to keep it nice and fresh and it might only last a few days, but I just noticed at this time of the year, the jasmine just keeps coming and keep coming. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoy enjoyed sharing that with you and it is one of my most favorite designs. I'll see you another day. Mm -hmm.